Thank you for joining us today. My name is Kevin, and we are here today to discuss iSymphony. Today we're going to show you examples of incoming calls and how to manage that call. We will go over the basics of the iSymphony software package and hint on some of the more advanced features as well. So let's get started. Uh, first thing I want to do is explain what iSymphony is. Uh, iSymphony is a visual communication tool that allows you to check voicemail, chat with other users, manage incoming calls, manage queues, uh, set up conference calls, and report your presence such as uh, out to lunch or in a meeting. And uh, we will go over each of these. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the primary function of iSymphony, which is the extension section. Um, here you see the there's two se uh, two separate uh, extension areas your personal extension and all the remote extensions of all the other phones that are on the network. You can check the status status of each extension by looking at the color code. In this example, uh, light blue uh, indicates that the phone is idle. Idle. You can see that on my personal extension here and also on this example extension that we have set up uh, already. Um, there are other colors uh, indicate uh, yellow, which we'll see here shortly when we do a couple test calls. You'll see when a call comes in, uh, when the phone's ringing, it'll, uh, this extension will turn yellow. Other colors, including purple, uh, indicates that the person is making an outgoing call. Dark blue indicates that the, uh, you are on line with another internal office extension. Green indicates you are on line with an outside number, and orange indicates that the call originated from a queue. The extension section also allows you to contact another user in several ways. Using Phil as an example here, to the right under the actions column, uh, each of these icons, if you put your cursor right over it, indicates what it is. You can contact him, uh, Phil via cell phone. You can leave him a voicemail. With the proper permissions, you can uh, set him to be part of a queue. You can set the phone on do not disturb or you can initiate a chat session or email. Uh, click, by clicking on each one of these icons it will open up the appropriate application to do that function. Because we ensure is growing so rapidly we had to come up with a better way of managing all your extensions. So what we did we set up a directory structure uh, here you see all the extensions in the corporate office. Um, we also broke down several other uh, directories, uh, one for the agents and also one for the carriers. The carriers, uh, each one of these extensions, by either dialing it from your phone or using iSymphony, will dial the outside number attached to that extension. Uh, of course, you can always click on everyone right here. Uh, something else you can you can further organize these extensions. You can sort it by name or you can sort it by the extension. In the My Extensions section, if you right click on your name, you can change your availability and you can also leave a note. In this case, we're going to set a note to indicate I am in training and we'll return on the 27th you can click on the date and time icon change your time change your date set that click on set and when you're when the remote users want to see what's going on with your status they can put the cursor over your name and it will give you the note that you just set up okay let's go ahead and go through a real life example of an incoming call to your extension if you'll bear with me this woman I'm gonna go ahead and place a call on my cell and put it on speaker so you can hear the other end of the call dial extension 1999 and if you notice the status of my phone changed to yellow to indicate that a call is coming in now I can pick up the call on uh, my phone, but in this case what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the call on hold and you'll see here it brings it down the call to the held calls section. From there you can either double click on this number and it will uh, ring back to your phone and you can pick up or you can drag and drop this number back over to your extension and it will re-ring on your phone and you can pick it up. 
Uh, let's go ahead and try parking a call and I'll show you what you can do with a call then. If you look on the park icon it brings it down to the parked call section and let's say you want to go ahead and transfer this call to Kim McEvers. Um, two things, can, you can do this by two ways. You can call Kim and let him know that he has a call holding on the parked call section and he can go over there and grab it himself or you can drag and drop it over to Kim. If you notice the status of his phone changed to yellow to indicate that a call is coming in to his extension and he can pick up the call from there. Okay, let's go ahead and go over a few more uh, sections within iSymphony. The uh, queue section that you see right here. Uh, in this case um, you will have four queues. Right now you only see one. Um, if you double click on that I, that uh, queue you can, and we'll go ahead and move these statistics out so you can see it uh, easier. Uh, the queue section allows you to manage the queue properly. Um, you can see all the statistics of the calls completed throughout the day. Um, uh, there's no no one in the queue position right now, of course, but um, it, when when there are several people in there, it'll show the position the um, of the caller and also the hold time uh, that caller has been on. Uh, it also lists the agents that are in that queue and the status of each phone. In this case, the extension 199 is set to uh, idle. The other sections that are um, very useful and getting into a few more of the advanced features um, on the conference room section you can actually set up conference calls and invite users to uh, that conference uh, by clicking on this uh, create temporary conference room icon. Uh, we'll go ahead and do that now. We'll go ahead and set up a test conference room. Um, you can go in there and set the room options if you want to announce users joining the conference. Um, you can record the conference if you like and you can also in invite users and what it'll do it'll send a message to that user and by acknowledging it they can join the conference call. Let's go ahead and set up uh, let's go ahead and add uh, Julie and Jim and Lucas and go ahead we're we'll inviting ourselves by clicking on that icon and uh, we can either make that a private conference or a public conference. Um, the public conference, um, public visibility indicating that everyone knows that you're in a conference call or private which hides that from the remote users. If you click on create what happens it will actually ring everyone's phone and that person can pick up. When they pick up, it'll announce that you are in the conference. And uh, once you hang up, it will, uh, based on the options, it will allow it tell you that you have left, or it'll simply just remove you from the conference. The other section uh, that I'd like to show you uh, is pretty pretty basic, but uh, very informative. You also have uh, your call history. Uh, it shows both incoming and outgoing calls. Um, it shows also shows missed calls and it indicates that by a status. A green arrow indicates that the call was coming in. Purple indicates outgoing. In this case we have several missed calls. These were the test calls we were doing earlier. Uh, and also you can check your voicemail. You can either listen to your voicemail by clicking on this icon right here. You can send this voicemail to your cell phone um, or you can uh, delete it or forward the voicemail to a, uh, another user. This concludes the basic training of iSymphony. I hope this has been informative and I appreciate your time.